Now, a change in the law might be on the cards after the recent collapse of the Hillsborough cover-up trial. The Liverpool MP, Maria Eagle, today told the Commons that it was a catastrophic failure of the legal system. The Justice Secretary says that he is considering a compulsory duty of candour for those giving evidence to public inquiries, the so-called Hillsborough Law. Here's our Merseyside reporter, Andy Gill. Last month, two former police officers and a solicitor were formally acquitted of perverting the course of justice by altering police statements about Hillsborough. That was because the judge ruled that the original inquiry into what happened was an administrative process and not a process of justice. And in the Commons today, a Liverpool MP asked the Justice Secretary for an urgent response. He said the lessons of Hillsborough needed to be learned. Irrespective of the outcome of this case, the government continues to be committed to engaging with the survivors and the bereaved families. It is critical that the lessons of the Hillsborough tragedy the Hillsborough disaster, are not only learnt, but consistently applied. Now all criminal trials relating to Hillsborough are over, the government is again considering recommendations by the former Bishop of Liverpool, James Jones. He said public bodies should have a duty of candour when things go wrong and victims should have access to publicly funded legal representation. Maria Eagle says the collapse of the latest trial shows why this is needed. Does he agree that it's a catastrophic failure of our criminal justice system that nobody's been held accountable for these killings and that it's taken 32 years to fail so badly? A former Prime Minister also urged the government to act quickly. My right honourable friend, the Lord Chancellor, has acknowledged that this collapse of this trial has been the final blow to the Hillsborough families in their desperate search over so many years for justice. After last month's acquittals, one of the defendants' QCs repeated false allegations that Liverpool fans were in some way to blame for Hillsborough. Another local MP asked the government to respond to this. Will the Secretary of State condemn Jonathan Goldberg's recent comments about the behaviour of Liverpool fans that day? A member of the Queen's Council should know better. Anybody who wishes to pass comment about these dreadful events of 1989, just remember there are human people behind this who are still living with it. Show some respect. New inquests five years ago said the 96 had been unlawfully killed and fans were not to blame. Andy Gill, BBC Northwest Tonight, Liverpool. Well, let's stay with that story because Fegan Murray, whose son Martin Het was murdered in the Manchester Arena attack, responded to our tweet about the Hillsborough story a little earlier. She is backing Maria Eagle's plan. She said to have someone there who can be helpful in accessing information would be a massive lifeline for families who are affected. A lack of important information, Fegan added, can be devastating.